Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luma here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And I got banned. Not perma banned on Call of Duty, but shadow banned, okay? And you might be saying, oh, he cheats. Limbo's a cheater. And here's the message. Limited matchmaking. Your account is in limited matchmaking state due to a potential violation, which I did not violate anything. I was just playing the game. Let's look at my last 10 games. I'm gonna show you guys my last 10 games, right? Because I played about, because I played about for an hour, right? And most of the time I left of them. So look at here. I have four wins and six losses. The four wins that I have were the matches that I stated. The six losses are the matches that I joined either mid game and or they already had a kill streak that was killing everybody and I rage quit. So let's go to Rio. 32 kills, 12 deaths. I was in the game for four minutes and 48 seconds. I joined Midway when it was about 70 to 20 and we were losing. I was going against people that were using the rival dot at MCW. And then once they got a Reaper, I was completely fucked. And I got so annoyed by this one guy. His name was Diff, I'm pretty sure. His name was Diff right here. 30, he ended up with 33 kills. He had the pink and white anime skin and I was so annoyed by it, okay? And I killed him and I left the game after shooting his body and emptying the mag on him. Departures over here, 11 kills. Three deaths. I didn't go negative at all in these last two matches. For departures, I was only in there for two minutes and I was sniping. And this game, I joined midway when it was 100 to 80. And they already had an advanced UAV. Would any normal player want to play against that? People leave when people start getting kill streaks. This game right here, I did not drop a DNA bomb, right? I had 62 kills. Though. I finished the entire game. I was there for nine minutes. I joined at the ninth minute. I believe. And we were down. It was a very close game. This Perker head kid is legit 10 years old and he was calling me dog shit. The only way I got 62 kills was not through a DNA bomb, but was through the swarm getting so many kills that I got a carpet bomb. Then that carpet bomb would push me to an advanced UAV. Then I would get simply three kills with my weapon to get another swarm. So I dropped 62 kills from there. Over here, 106 kills and six deaths, 17.67 KD. I was in there for eight minutes and 30 seconds. This is a game that I was there for the entire time, from start to finish. I dropped a DNA bomb, and this guy named Bot Sky, who was also in the six-star match, I believe, on the other team somewhere here, yeah, right here. We matched up again, and he was going crazy about how I was getting a swarm and dropping a DNA bomb. And then for Karachi over here, 76 kills and four deaths. I was there for nine minutes and 46 seconds. It was hard point this time. We won once again. I was in a game with, I believe, to notice. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he was on my team, yeah. To notice whatever his name is he was going crazy once again about me dropping a dna bomb and he was trolling me with being a racist youtuber i didn't take offense to it but i remember it so significantly enough that i remember his name he was shit talking me for being a scamming racist youtuber and he was still going crazy that i dropped a dna bomb but guess what guess what to notice and i still match up on the same thing right and for this game i went 131 and 6. I dropped a DNA bomb again. And I have clips of Tenosis and a friend of his. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's Manny and... No, it's Hush. Hush over here thought I was a racist, scammy YouTuber as well. And they were joking around with me the entire game. But Tenosis knew I was like that. And he was vouching for me that I would drop a DNA bomb. And I did. So I went 131 and 6. I could have gotten three DNA bombs this game. But I was cracking up so many times. You'll see in the clip that I'm playing right now. I was cracking up so badly. Then I stopped playing and I had to start clipping what they were saying because it was so funny. Then over here, this real match, I went positive once again. I haven't gone negative at all in these matches that I've left and or have defeat under. Okay, I went positive again. I'm using the BP-50, a gun that I have not dropped a DNA bomb with. My personal goal is to drop a DNA bomb with every aftermarket part in the game and the bp50 is one of those aftermarket part weapons that i have not dropped a dna bomb with yet so i left and then for the next one we have rio over here 73 125 and you're wondering how does a match in two minutes and 21 seconds go for get to 73 and 125 i joined this match mid match once again i don't like playing games that have already started and when people have kill streaks that are using annoying weapons this crew guy right over here, C-R-U-U, -U, this guy was running an MCW and was running overkill with a rival knot. He's a very good player. I'm pretty sure he was diamond and or platinum. He was running overkill with an MCW conversion kit and the rival knot. Tell me how much a fucking sweat fest can it be? So I left the game, then tanked over here. I joined midway again. I played all the way out. Didn't go negative once. I went 23 and 13 and I didn't even leave this one. I played all the way through because I was playing good. I thought I could drop a DNA bomb. And about on the 14th kill, one kill away from the drone strike, 
I died, and, and by the time I got to my 14th kill and died, they were already at 100, so I just stayed in the game anyway. This Pugzilla guy literally was running with a SVA 545 and shitting on me, but I still did not go negative. And then the game that I got banned, that I joined midway once again and went 16 and 3, I was with this Bonnet Network guy who was the funniest fucking guy, and he had an advanced UAV up when I joined, right? I was using the MCW because I was pissed off. Try to use the BP-50. I used the BP-50 for three games and it got me nowhere. So I start sorting with the MCW. And the clip I'm about to show you guys is literally me playing normally. Okay, so let's pop it up. So this is Bond and Network. He likes to talk in game. I already have an advance, so I know where people are. And I have a suppressor on both weapons, so they don't know where I'm at. Right, I have my carpet bomb. I see this guy over here. I know they're on C. Boom, kill. Easy kill. And I, this guy's gonna ask. He needs an ammo box, so I'm trying to show him. I'm right next to him. Someone comes over there. Boom, boom. I see a red guy, a red line. So I know somebody's there. And I see my mini map. I'm like, okay, let me see if this guy dies. He dies, so I gotta push this kid, kill him. I still have cover, so I'm gonna use it. Kill that kid, and I get banned. And look what I'm about to say. Look what I'm about to say. That sucks. This one hack. I said, did someone hack me? And the only reason why I asked myself, did someone hack me? It was because people were mass reporting me and saying that I was going to get permaban and or get my account hacked because I was cheating and getting too many kill streaks. When I was literally using the feature that Call of Duty themselves, Activision themselves, added with loopy kill streaks. All the kill streaks that I have, except for one, the advanced UAV, all get me kills and loop together. And look, look what plays at the end. Look at my screen right here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing over here, right? You might be wondering, what's Revo Uninstaller? J2 Cents, a popular PC and tech YouTuber, showed his audience about it a year ago, I believe, and I've had it on my new PC since. OBS Bot Center is this camera right here that I got sent out. Nucleus on the top left here between Helldivers and NZXT Cam. That is for me to play Lethal Company with my little brother, Split Screen. And you might be wondering, what the hell is Eclipse on the bottom left? That is a program that I need for school, which is a programming program, right? And literally on my taskbar, there's no VPN. There's no cheating application. There's literally nothing. It's Google, Discord, File Explorer, Premiere, and Photoshop, OBS, Elgato, 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 AMD Adrenaline, which is, which is AMD's version of NVIDIA Shadowplay, which allows me to clip and all that stuff. Voice Meter, which is my audio, Epic Games Launcher, Steam, and that one in the middle between Steam right here, that is Plutonium. If you don't know what Call of Duty Plutonium is, it's a way to play old Call of Duties like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, World at War. You're able to log in and actually play old Call of Duties with working servers. And if you still think that I cheat, hack, and or VPN and reverse boost, right here, when I alt tab out of the application, which is Call of Duty, after I closed it, we have all tabs open, all tabs show. I don't know if you guys know about this, but there was a streamer that got exposed for all tabbing out of the game. And one of the applications that popped up here literally showed him having deep fakes of other streamers on them. But all my applications are shown here. When you all tab, all your applications are shown. So I have Call of Duty HQ, which I just closed, which I'm all tabbing out of. I have Google Chrome open, watching ASMR while I play. Okay, don't ask why I do it. It was what? It was 12 a.m. at night. I wanted to relax. I like ASMR, and I have a fucked up back. I would love to have a chiropractic session, okay? I want to get my back cracked. I have voice meter, which is my audio, and then Steam. But I'm done. I'm done. I I'm not playing Call of Duty for a couple of days. I'll probably do something else. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment down free limbo, even though I'll be free in a couple of days. Peace.